I'm gonna refilm that because yeah anyway Hey guys, how are you? This is Sunday morning, June 27th, just before 11 o'clock, I think. I am sitting here kind of in the dark because it is supposed to be 115 degrees today. That's really hot. So we've got the windows mostly closed. As you can see behind me, there are plants in the windows, so I can only put them down so far. Um, got the air conditioner on if you hear a humming in the background. And we are just staying in the house. We are not going outside right now. I do have um, a selection of stuff on my desk because I'm going to try to rearrange things a little bit to accommodate the pens and markers that I want to continue to use in my work going forward when I do the pen and ink practice that I've been doing in here. Um, so... And there are some I can see in here that I know I'm not going to use. So I can pull them out. I want to rearrange my desk a little bit to accommodate the pens. But at the same time, I don't want these pens in a drawer that I have to pull out. Um, I need to work on that. I don't know exactly what I'm going to do. So I'm going to think about it and see what I can come up with. And I'll be back. Okay, I reorganized a little bit and um, reset the pens on my desk. And this is what it currently looks like. I redid the labels on the canisters, um, not only because I was tired of the black, but because um, I changed up what was in them a little bit. I tried sticking with the black and it just wasn't working for me. And I found these um, craft colored labels in my stash so I use those instead I kind of like the way that looks so we'll see what happens I'll live with it for a little bit um anyway I've got my three canisters I've got my slow stitch journal right there my recipe cards for mixed media journaling from Margaret Miller I'll link her website down below um my um needle thimble holder thing thing yeah another canister and then this was a box, white box I had already in my stash and then I made cardboard dividers out of some cardboard I had in a closet um, to hold the four sections of drawing and inking pens that I'm using to work through my drawing books. I think that's going to work really well for me. Um, and now that I have room over there, I'm going to pull out from my stash over there. Sorry, I don't want to make you dizzy. Over here, any black, white, or sepia pens um, or gray pens that I want to use and use up or practice with or play with or something. I'll get them out of there. It'll get them used. It'll, I'll figure out if I like them or not. All of that stuff. It's already like 80 degrees up here. It's 100 degrees outside. It's not even lunchtime yet, so it's going to be one crazy day. I also pulled out a pen pouch for my stash in case it gets too hot up here to work. I'm gonna take the journal, the book, and some a few pens downstairs. So we'll see what happens. All right, I'll be back. Good morning, everybody. It is 9.28 a.m. and it already, 
already is, well, according to the car dashboard, 88 degrees, but according to my phone, it's 93 degrees outside. It is going to hit about 115 degrees today. You heard me right, 115. I live in the Pacific Northwest and that's kind of unheard of up here. Anyway, I am headed to the store because we need a couple of things and I'm headed out there much earlier than I normally would. Actually, not early enough. But anyway, I didn't really want to go tomorrow, so I'm going now. And I'm going to get it and get back within the hour because by lunchtime it's going to be over 100. So, anyway. You know, holy cow. It's only been, I don't know, a week or two since I used this thing, and evidently I've just forgotten how to use it. So. Mission inspiration for June is going to be a hot mess, but I'm going to do what I can with it in the editing process and we'll see. I do think I missed a whole bunch of footage. Anyway, I all I got that done today. I didn't expect to get that done and I also got the uh, mid-month mini mission done, um, or MIM as I call it, um, and they both turned out really cute, so those are coming. And if you're in the Mission Inspiration Facebook group, you've seen a preview of both pages, so... Um, I also put a bunch of deco page on some of these painty sticker papers that I created using up some stuff. They're mostly dry. How yummy does that look? So these are just random scraps and they're very textured. There's all different ones. Some of them still have some spots that aren't completely dry like that one. Look at that. So those are done. And as you can hear, the air conditioner is on. Because yeah, it's, it's blasting. Anyway, that is it for the minute. Okay, it went from 111 degrees this afternoon. It never quite got to 115 to 84 and humid. It's 9.30 at night. We're going for a walk because we haven't been out in like four days because of the heat. Yeah, so we're gonna go for a walk. <sighs> Get some steps, finally. I'll be back. Good morning, everybody. It is Tuesday, June 29th. It is 9.52 a.m. It's already been a very busy morning. It's not even 10 a.m. yet. I've got my cup of bone broth. Ah, uh, yeah. Contractors are here, hopefully finishing up the door. The dining room is covered in plastic, so um, if they don't get it finished today, we'll eat in the game room, I guess. There's another table out there, so that's fine. Um, it's just my dad and sister and Rebecca, so it won't matter. Uh, Jenny, uh, when she and her husband Brian were here, um, they brought me flowers. And Jenny knows when she brings me flowers, I enjoy them for a couple of days and then I squish them. <laughs> so the, cl the clip you just saw before this one is me squishing said flowers. Um, what else? I need to upload the vlog for YouTube for tomorrow. I haven't done that yet. I have a couple more quick videos to edit. I think I'm gonna do all the edits and then upload everything at once. Um, I've already done some chatting online with some art friends and oh, what else? There's so much. Bob's got the dishwasher going. He finished his breakfast and he started it for me, which was great. Got the laundry folded and put away finally. 
We've got the windows open, the air conditioner's turned off, some nice fresh air, yay. It's only going to be 97 today. I did not think I would ever say that and that would ever come out of my mouth, but it's only going to be 97 today. I got the Mission Inspiration um, Mixed Media Recipe Cards finished today and they're all done. There is a video for this. In a minute I went through some um, family mementos that I've been accumulating over the years and decades. Um, as my mom's gotten sicker and sicker, she's just brought me boxes of stuff with her wanted or not, to be fair. And I didn't want to hurt her feelings by saying, no, thank you. So I just said, fine, I'll take it. Thank you. And um, it's a long story, but my sister Karen, who's coming over tonight, didn't get much or any of it, stuff like that. And... Um, Although she and I don't necessarily get along, I do have quite a bit and I have quite a bit that I'm not gonna wanna keep. And so I pulled out some things and if she would like them, she can take them home with her. So we're gonna be doing that later. Um, I also have a couple boxes of stuff I need the daughter to go through and if she doesn't want it, then I need her to help me sell it or something. <laughs> so anyway, there's that. What else? I think can't think of anything else at the moment. I'm sure there's more stuff. I'm just not remembering what it is. I need to drink my bone broth. Oh, I relabeled my canisters again. So I did put craft card stock labels on them. And while they looked cute and they were a nice change from the black, they weren't sticking very well. So I relabeled them with the black chalkboard stickers, which stick better. I had to kind of reassemble hodgepodge them, but they look good. And then instead of writing on them, I used my labeler and I have black label tape that prints on white on it. So I used that and it looks great. Hold on, it came out like that. So that's much All better. Right. I guess I better get to editing because the edits aren't gonna do themselves. <laughs> All right. Hey guys, it is 12, 15 p.m. on Friday, June 30th, just after lunch. And I haven't eaten lunch yet, so I gotta do that next. Anyway, I'm checking in with you all. I um. My dad and sister Karen, um, who lives in Iowa, came for dinner last night and stayed kind of late. So I didn't get my daily drawing done last night. And so I brought the bag upstairs and I did yesterday's and today's and I've closed out the month of June. I also created the two new drawing journals for July. Um, so that's all done. I need to probably film a couple quick how are you doing creatively sort of videos for the two Facebook groups and um, I need to um, schedule the June 1st po posts for both groups with the prompts. One is a vision board uh, for our life of art and self-expression. And then the other group we're doing daily, daily prompts. Um, so I need to do that still. We're just so many kitties. Oh, there is, huh? So many kitties. Hi. 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 So many kitties. This one's not as anxious to be scratched yeah. as this one. This one looks like a young one. Mm -hmm. hey. Come here. Come here. Yes, we're out for a neighborhood walk. It's only about 70 degrees, although it's humid. And Bob, as usual, is just attracting all the neighborhood cats. And yes, he's sitting down on the ground. Scratching the ones that will let him. I gotta get up. Yeah, no, now he's gotta get up. I need to help him. Jeez, no, I got it. Oh. You got it? Oh. It's not getting down that's the problem, it's getting back up again. <laughs> yeah, it's getting down and you got gravity going with you. Yeah, we're old, we have bad knees, bad backs, you know, all the things. All right, I'll be oh, back. Another cat, that's like the fifth one we've seen. On this walk, I think Bob is like the cat whisperer tonight or something. Yeah. You've been seeing him everywhere. <sighs> anyway, now I'm warm. We need to go home. All right, I'll be back. Good morning, everybody. It is Thursday morning, July 1st, 8.37 a.m. Yes, my hair is wet again. I, I just don't know what to tell you. I have a bra on today. Is that TMI? Okay, we are in the car early because... I need to go get some paint color matched. Because now that we have the new door in on one side of the backyard, 
we kind of want that same color on the other door, which is red right now, and I don't think it needs to be red. So, so we're gonna change the color of the door. Okay guys, so I finally did some work on this canvas that's been sitting on my easel for a long time. It had a very dark black paint, gray orange underpainting, which is great. I'd love to start with an underpainting. I wasn't sure where I wanted to go with it then. And I have this inspiration photo here that I took at a local garden center that specializes in ponds and pond supplies. We have a pond in the backyard that we're having issue with. But anyway, that's another cool conversation. I took this picture at one of their display ponds and I finally decided to do, inspired by that photo and Monet, do a Monet inspired abstracted water lily scene. Now I will admit to you when I started painting this, some of which you're gonna, you saw in a clip before this, I thought that's just really not turning out very well and that's pretty ugly, <laughs> but the more I worked at it and the more I moved the color around, I actually really love it now. And I'm gonna let this sort of background dry and then we'll add a few sort of abstracted pink, white, and yellow like water lily shapes in here somewhere. But I wanna let this dry completely for a couple of days. That way if I put the first touch of the pink and yellow in there and I don't like it, I can wipe it off, so. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. All right, and that noise you hear in the background is a gardener, so. All right, cool, that was a nice start. And I used up like six more of these little tiny tubes of paint that I have, so. Which need to be used up. I have lots of paint that needs to be used up, so it's all good. All right, I'll be back. Okay, so I cannot do anything more on that painting. 
until the paint I have on there dries or the water lilies will just look like muddy lilies, not water lilies. <laughs> so I'm gonna go out for a walk. I, of course, could do other things like dishes and laundry and I always have art generally to catch up on, but you know what? I'm gonna go for a walk. I don't know what it says about today and the energy of today, but holy cow, I haven't gone very far. Lots of wildlife, butterflies, birds, bumblebees, squirrels, some of which I've actually even managed to catch on camera and get still shots of, which if you've been following me for any length of time, you know I'm notoriously bad at catching pictures of wildlife. So yeah, there's that. And I keep hearing noises in the bushes. I guess it's not cold, but it's not too hot. So everybody's out. Got a picture of a bird that like never happens. I don't know what that means, but yeah, it's a thing. Anyway, let's keep getting some steps in. I'll be back. You know, there's nothing like talking to the camera for like 10 minutes and have it not be on. Good morning, everybody. It's not even 7.30 a.m. yet on Friday, July 2nd. Yes, I know that because I've done this once already. <laughs> Um, anyway, I dropped some paint off at the local paint store yesterday, Miller Paint. Love their company uh, and love their service and love their paint. So anyway, if you're in the Pacific Northwest, it's a locally owned business. And yeah, anyway, check them out. I'll leave their website down below. Uh, anyway, they match color match the paint for me. Uh, we have the new door that just went in that's like a smoky beige color, the frame. Um, it's a mill guard vinyl door. And the old single French style door that we have on the other end of the house um, is painted red. And it just, when the new door went in, I went, wow, I love that. And then looked at the red one, wow, I hate that. So um, it was painted red before we bought the house, and when we had the house repainted, we just said, yeah, I just painted the new red color, I guess, because we didn't really know. Now we know, and I need to repaint it. So it, we may replace that door at some point, but we're going to uh, color match the paint of the new door for the moment, and then repaint, just repaint what's there. So that's what we will be done. So. Everybody. It is Saturday, July 3rd. I had to think about that for a second. What time is it? I don't even know. 10.58 a.m. Um, my dad and sister Karen, who is here from Iowa, helping out with some stuff regarding my dad and my parents. Um, they were here for breakfast. She um, is flying home today out of uh, Portland airport PDX and um, they came by and spent a little time here had some breakfast we went over a couple of things that we needed to go over dad's taking her to the airport now Bob is in the garage um, getting ready to run to the hardware st uh, auto parts store because he's going to work on the Barracuda today try to get it running again um, it has fuel pump and push rod issues. I think that's what it's called. Anyway, I don't know a ton about cars, but it's something to do with your fuel pump and the fuel rod or push rod. Fuel rod? Fuel rod? I don't know. Anyway, we got the new parts. Bob's going to try to put it back together today, but I think he needs a couple more things. Anyhow, uh, dad's on the way to the airport with Karen. I got the kitchen all cleaned up and, uh, I can just chill for a little bit. And then when Bob gets back from the auto parts, I need to go to the grocery store. So I've got the air conditioner on, or I will have in a second. I probably need to make sure I didn't open up the windows upstairs. And anyway, otherwise I think it's gonna be a chill afternoon. And 
Um, I'll, I'll, even though it's gonna, oh, no, the windows are closed, yay. Even though I think it's gonna be another warm one, but warmish thing that I think it's gonna stay in the 90s. I don't think it's gonna go to 100, so yay. Hey guys, it is 11 o'clock at night on Saturday. What have I gotten done today? Whole lot of nothing. <laughs> Not too much anyway. Um, you know, that's okay. We did do have a issue with one of the solenoids and the sprinkler system on one of the valves and we ran around town looking for parts. Nobody had them. We ended up ordering said parts from Amazon. Um, so we will be hand watering the front yard for the next few days. <laughs> um, until the part comes in. It should be in like Tuesday, I think, or Wednesday. Um, the sprinkler works. It just doesn't shut itself all the way off. So, yeah, that's an issue. Anyway, um, there's all kinds of stuff on my desk. Um, I got all my daily drawing done. I got some more posts done. And, you know, I didn't do much else besides that. I did some reading this afternoon. I think that, you know, was okay. Besides trying to help with the sprinkler system and I was no help and yeah, but Bob did get the Barracuda running, by the way, he got it fixed, yay. Um, so, you know, it's all good. Anyway, what else? I think that's it right now. And for the week, tomorrow is the 4th of July and we are going to the coast for the day with the kids and the dog and all that stuff. I'm not going to bring my handbag. I've packed a little backpack instead. I am going to bring some drying stuff. I don't know if I'm going to have time to do that, but I'm going to bring some. So we'll see. I'll try to take a lot of pictures if I don't have time. Well, I'll try to take a lot of pictures anyway. So and some video for you all. Anyway, it hasn't been a horrible week. It's been pretty good, but you know, But it's been okay. Anyway, I hope that you've all had a great week and that you continue to have a great week. That if you are struggling, you figure out a way with the help of friends and family to work through that struggle. Um, you know, I know with my mom and dad, we're all pulling together and we're helping where we can and, you know, you know trying to find solutions to problems and all of those things. I, I, yeah, all those things. It's tough, but what are you going to do? Anyway, in the meantime, I'm doing lots of art. I've made a lot of these cards out of the stencils. I love this one. Who is the, he's the first one that I did on a piece of scratch paper, and I love the way he turned out. I think I'm going to have to put him on a journal page because I, like, I love the way he turned out. So just a new way to use stencils. You don't have to use them with paint. I've been, I've got some video on it. I have to edit still. It's still on the camera, which is up there on the tripod still. So anyway, I hope you've all had a good one. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I do have videos on doing these drawings with your stencil that you probably already have in your stash as a guide. There is a new stencil code out, a sale code for my Etsy shop for stencils and at whatever else you buy in the shop. Um, I shouldn't say whatever else. Physical merchandise, not for digital products. Physical merchandise. Um, anyway, I will put the sale code down below in the store link for you all. But I hope you've all had a great week and that you've done some fun, creative stuff. If you have any ideas that you'd love to share, I know we'd love to hear about them in the community tab here over on my YouTube channel or over in one of my Facebook art groups or if you're on Patreon. We're going to be starting up soon with Patreon live arty chats. And I think I'm going to, to start out with, we're going to be doing some drawing, some botanically inspired drawings. I do some ones in gel pen in a journal I've got downstairs. And I think we're going to start working on that to start with anyway. So if you're interested in that, join me over on Patreon or in the community tab. One of those, because they'll all get invited. Uh, they also have access to me over in Facebook in a Friends and Supporters Facebook art uh, chat, private chat over in Facebook Messenger. So just so you know. All right. That's it for the minute. 
I hope you all stay safe, stay healthy, stay creative. Uh, you know, wear a mask, get a vaccine, wash your hands, whatever you're comfortable doing, just stay healthy. And, you know, if you have questions, comments, or concerns, leave them down below. I answer all my comments. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, please. And go out and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. Maybe go for a drive, go to the beach, whatever it is. Go for a walk around the block. Go look at the flowers in the backyard. Go do something nice for yourself because you really do deserve it. I'll see you next week. Bye, guys.